right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Tom Reeves. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Assassin! Okay, you take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Jim? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you will see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Go get him. Boom. Big jab. Nice straight punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He blocks the shot. Got the single collar tie. 
stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good punch lands. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Fired off the first round clock. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Big punch land. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, straight to the body by Breeze. Right up the Misses with that punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Breeze. Straight punch land. Oh, misses with the jet. Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice. Straight left counter finds the target. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Nice kick. Clean with the right hook. Real steep. Round two straight ahead. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Nice. That was perfect. Good round. He's rocked. He's still rocked, all right? He's ready to be finished in this next one, all right? You ready? You ready? Nice kick. Lost the shot to the body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Powerful leg kick lands. A 
uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Breeze. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right hand landing. Nice slip to avoid the left. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive one. Put his opponent on Rocky Lake. Now, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You go. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice punch by Breeze. Try to establish that jab. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Under two minutes now to go in the round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard, working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Strong hook lands. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they separate. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Visibly limping here. to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Breeze. 15 seconds. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling, 
He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout assassin. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.